Well, that documentary was also shown locally at the Sanger and Crescent Theaters. When the Clotilda was transporting the Africans, it was illegal because the slave trade had been abolished. Now, to hide the evidence, the ship was burned and sunk in the Mobile River. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Karis, a museum to showcase the history of the Clotilda was scheduled to open this fall. Yeah, people from Africatown say the Clotilda is one of Alabama's best kept secrets. And when the museum does open, more people will be able to learn about it. There's not yet a date for when the museum will be completed, but officials are currently setting up the exhibit and aim to get it finished in the spring. The Africatown Heritage House is a Mobile County Commission project to display the rich history of the community with a price tag of $1.3 million. It will be inside of a 5,000 square feet building showcasing an exhibit of the Clotilda, the last slave ship to come to Alabama in 1860, more than half a century after the slave trade was abolished. A spokesperson from the city of Mobile says the city has contributed $250,000 to this project. The project was first announced back in February of 2021. A spokesperson from the Mobile County Commission told me the delay is because the building where the Heritage House will be had to be built. Thelma Mabin Owens is an Africatown native. She says it's important for things like the Heritage House to be constructed because it teaches history that was neglected. You have the opportunity to walk in there and see for yourself some of the history, some of the artifacts. I think once the tourism come and start in this community, it will bring about a lot that is very much needed. The city of Mobile is also working on a project in Africatown. It will be a welcome center, which will act as the first stop for tourists visiting the community. It has a price tag of $3.6 million.